So, you finally got your tablet, but what now? What's going on everybody, it's me Stair here, and today I'll talk about everything you'll need to know when setting up your tablet. But keep in mind that this is just going to be a setup guide. If you want some advice on what tablet to buy, CTH472. You really don't need a dedicated guide for that. But on a serious note, while I would recommend that you get that one, it's not the only option you have available, and this video will of course work just as well regardless of which one you have. But now, let's not waste any more time and get straight to step 1, the drivers. Now, unless you're on laser, which we'll get to, you're gonna want some drivers for your tablet. But that shouldn't be too complicated, right? Just go to the manufacturer's website and download... No, you don't want those drivers, you want this one. Cause since you bought a drawing tablet, the drivers are of course made for drawing. So they aren't exactly optimized for clicking circles. The Haku driver, however, is made for O's, which gives it lower input lag as well as some extra features you'll probably want. So just go to the link in the description and unless you want to compile the source code yourself, just download the zip file, put it somewhere you can easily access it, then uninstall all other drivers you might already have. Double click this and you're good to go. However, if you're on laser, you can skip all of step 1, cause the tablet driver is already integrated into the game. But now, let's get to setting up your tablet area. Alright, let's talk tablet area. In terms of how big it should be, well, I can't really give you a concrete answer cause it's just down to preference. You can both find people using really small ones as well as going all the way to full area. So just experiment a bit and try to find what feels right for you, and once you've found something, just stick to it. Unless it's like comically small, you should probably be fine. What is going to be more important though will be the aspect ratio. Standard is 1.778 to 1, which is 16 to 9, but you can go a bit lower on the first number if you want to. And yeah, you can technically put whatever aspect ratio you want in there, but if you pick something stupid, don't expect it to work out. Now, you'll find some pros decreasing the width by a bit and it can help with horizontal jumps. But that doesn't mean it's going to be a free skill increase though, cause like that it no longer represents your screen one for one. So if you're just starting out, I would really recommend that you leave it at default for now and only change it later if you end up struggling. Alright, now that you've got your area, the only question is gonna be, should you hover or drag across it? But it's honestly also just preference, cause both playstyles have their advantages as well as drawbacks. Hovering will let you move a bit faster, but your aim won't be as stable, which honestly you can learn to control, but it'll still look shaky as fuck. But that shouldn't matter, cause who cares how the replay looks as long as the PP is right. Dragging will help you make your aim more stable, but it adds friction and it can strain your grip. Plus it's also gonna completely scratch your tablet, which doesn't break it or anything, but it just looks ugly. And if you want to avoid that, you should probably get a cover. And lastly, I want to talk about hardware smoothing. It's last because it's really not that important, but some tablets automatically smooth your input, which is also one of the main reasons why you see people tell you not to buy certain tablets. But if you already have one which does this, don't worry, it doesn't really matter, cause it only smooths by a tiny amount, which while it does get magnified with a smaller area is still very minor and you won't notice it unless you're used to playing without it. But if you still want to get rid of it, the Haku driver offers something special, and it's called the anti-smoothing filter. But just as the name suggests, hardware smoothing already happens before your tablet even sends data to the driver. So it doesn't get rid of it, instead, through what I can only imagine to be black magic, it sort of nullifies it instead. But how to use it? Well, the settings are different for each tablet, so just hover over it and do whatever it tells you to. And that should probably cover this part as well. But if you have any other questions, please definitely let me know down in the comments below. And other than that, if you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, see you next time.